Hi guys and welcome back to The Wargamer and in this video we're going to be continuing our Space Marine conversion series and this time I'll be showing you how you can convert your primary Space Marines to represent those from the Space Wolves chapter. As a starting point for this conversion I'll be using one of the easy build primary Space Marines and you can see here that I've already part assembled it. Now the first detail that I'll be adding to this miniature will be some fur items. Now these can be acquired from many different Games Workshop kits. There's lots of them available, but I'll be using some of the components specifically from the Space Wolves kit. Now if you're an existing Space Wolves player, then chances are you'll already have some of these lying around. But if you don't, then you can always pick some up from a friend or a dedicated bits dealer. You may find that many of your fur items are actually attached to other components that we don't want to use in our conversion. So you're going to have to remove them from them. And for this, I'm going to be using a hobby knife. You could alternatively use some clippers or a hobby saw, but I find that the hobby knife is much better for more delicate areas such as this. Just remember to be extremely careful when using a hobby knife and keep your fingers as far away from the blade as possible. As you can see here, the fur component isn't quite fitting flush against the miniature, so I'm going to need to trim it down slightly in order to get it positioned beneath the belt. Once again, I'll be using a hobby knife to trim down the contact point of the loincloth. When trimming down these areas, I'd recommend proceeding cautiously. Trim down a small part, try it again, see what the fit's like, and then keep on trimming down until you have a perfect fit. Once you are happy with the fit, you can now apply some glue to the component and glue it to the rest of the Primus Marine. Another area of the miniature that we can easily convert into a Space War theme is the shoulder pads. Now due to the increased size of the primers, you can quite easily get away with using the Terminator shoulder pads as well as the regular Space Marine shoulder pads that you find in the Space Wolf kits. If like me you're using the Snapfit miniatures found inside the Dark Imperium box set or the other kits, you will need to remove some of the shoulder pads with some clippers. Simply use the clippers to remove the bulk of the shoulder pad, leaving just a small amount remaining to affix the new shoulder pad to. If you're using one of the Intercessor multi-part kits, then you shouldn't need to do this as those come separate anyway. As using clippers can often leave quite a rough surface, I would recommend using a hobby file to smooth down the resulting area. Once you are happy with the surface that you've created using the file, we can now glue the shoulder pad to the arm itself. On the Space Wolf Sprue, there are many adornments available, however many of these are fixed to other components. So what I'll be doing in this step is removing one from a backpack, particularly this tail-like fur item from the bottom of this backpack, and attaching it to the bolt rifle. Before we can attach the adornment to the bolt rifle, we first of all need to prep it. Now there is a small area beneath the barrel, which I'll be removing using some clippers. Once this has been done, I'll then be filing down the area to create a smooth surface in which to glue to later. Next up, we want to remove the fur adornment from the bottom of the backpack. And again, I'll be using my clippers for this. Now be careful when using the clippers so you can still use the rest of the backpack in a future conversion. With the fur removed and the bolt rifle prepped, the final step is to glue them. On the Space Wolf Sprue, you'll also find many other decorations as well as fur, including teeth and also runes. And I'll be applying some of these to our Primus power plant. In this particular example, I'll be removing the rune from the Heavy Flamer pipe. I'm going to be using my clippers for this. Now, instead of cutting just above the rune, I'll instead be cutting the pipe itself to create a loop above the rune. Again, remember to file down the areas that you clipped off previously using a hobby file. Once the loop has been prepped, you can now glue it to the rest of the backpack. To finish off, some of the most easiest and straightforward conversions you can do with your primaries are to simply take some of the components from the Space Wolf Sprue and glue them straight to your primaries. For example, the head and other additional items such as the knife here. So that's it for all of the conversion work so far. Now I've applied quite a few Space Wolf theming items to this one miniature and you can spread these out across your primaries. You don't need to do as much to each miniature as I've done here. I just wanted to give you plenty of examples as to how you can convert your Space Wolves. So to finish off, let's get some paint on this miniature and see what it looks like when it's completed. And here we have the fully painted and based Primaris Space Wolf. Now whilst this tutorial focused just on the intercessors, you could apply the exact same techniques to pretty much any of your Primus Marines to give them the effect that they are members of the Space Wolves chapter. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below and also make sure you subscribe to be kept up to date with all my future content. And also if you have any suggestions for future Primus conversion videos, also let me know about them in the comments. I just want to give a shout out to Alchemist Workshops for providing the miniatures used in this tutorial. If you're looking for up to 20% off the RRP of your Warhammer miniatures, you should definitely check those guys out. And there's a link on the screen now and also in the description below. 
And last, but certainly not least, is my Patreon supporters. You guys really help me in making these videos, and you allow me to make at least one of these tutorials a week. So big thank you to you guys, and if you're also interested in supporting me, you can do so by checking out my Patreon page, and from there you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, which just really helps me in producing future content, and there will be a link in the description to my Patreon page below. So all that's left to say is thanks for watching, and goodbye.